Hello everyone, welcome to another gameplay of Bleach Online. It's Lost Otako here. And uh, today I am really excited about this video because I already thought about it. Like, I was uh, I was just sitting there and obviously, as one always do, just thinking about it, looking at stuff, you know, see how I might... Basically just thinking of strategies on a future gameplay, uh, future team, well with my current team. But how I would can uh, change it up depending on the opponent so on and so forth and of course the right now the hot cake of an issue has to be uh, reusing Jaka uh, the, the openness of the openness what the hell is it? there is damn the only thing that's a little bit lower is the re recovery and the resistance but the defense the attack the speed damn this dude is awful just Terrible, just absolutely terrible. <laughs> but anyway, that's not that. That's not what well, we're not going to be talking about him today. Well, we're gonna sort of talk about him, but in um, not the way you're gonna expect. <laughs> Mystery. But let me let me get to it. Um, the title of this video is probably is most likely going to be you know how to defeat. Uh, but it's, uh, how to null uh, Reijin Jaka has beat Reijin Jaka uses something like that uh, because I th I think of the title before I even do the video because I need to know what way it's going to go. But anyway, let me get started. Uh, first of all, one thing I'm trying to make clear is that if someone, if you this is for like if you're close together, you know, if you have like a fifty percent chance to beat them, so on and so forth. But if someone has like 2 million BP more than you or like you know really have a stronger team with, <laughs> that can annihilate your team literally before you do anything it's not gonna work even if you have reason Jaka uh, so this is not for the if you, if you easily gain beating and stuff like that it's, 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 not, it's not for you even if we're using Jaka like for example uh, how my thing is right now with my, uh, with my rank 2 even if he gets for using Jaka, 99% of the time, 99% uh, of the time, Senju uh, just one shot his whole team. So yeah, even if he gets using Jaka, I am still going to win. So again, this is not just a situation where it's like that. I'm talking there, but this is where it's really close. Where sometimes it usually goes to like Vanguard battle or something, you know, and. Uh, but anyway, this is I'm going to be using a uh, second of all to all those guys who have been dissing to all those guys who have been dissing um Shingaki Tensai. Fuck color you. I said it. I'm going to say it again. Fuck color you because this is where he comes really useful. This is where he comes really awesome and amazing. Again, you're going to find that soon as to why I'm saying that. Uh I always, obviously, I always thought he was. I was being his like number one supporter. So I love the guy. I think he's awesome. I think he's OP. I always knew that was gonna be like a place for him, but uh, you know, he hasn't. It hasn't been that place yet. But this is it. This is why I think it's going to work. Anyway, let me get started um, on how to null beat blah blah blah. Reason Jaka users. Of course, we know how Reason Jaka is. Uh, he has the thirty percent mutilate. And uh, I think he also has the burn effect, so you're going to be losing. You're going to be losing. I can't even see the the thingy, the the the, the, the skill. Anyway, so you're going to be using. You're going to be losing shit ton of um, shit ton of. Uh, oh, I can't see. Yeah, anyway, you're going to, so anyway, that is it. What well, you guys should know it by now. You're going to be losing shit ton of like HP and life. Starting from the support. Oh, the formation for this that will most likely work. Obviously, you can the different support uh, formation you can use, but uh, this is anyway. I have like a bunch of ideas of how it's gonna work. So listen to this crazy talk. Basically, just try and follow properly because I I might go almost everywhere and anywhere. So do try and listen properly. It's gonna it's, it's gonna take it's gonna be a wild ride. Um. Okay, how? how Using just my team right now, how it's gonna go? One, you need to send you. You're going to you're going to need uh, one through one. The reason why I was at, at first I was thinking 
you go you may need to use um you may need to use a sane or elegant unohana because when i think when i look at her because as, as i can see still living on it because i was looking at it because obviously i was thinking like i said i was my whole morning is still morning right now i was thinking of how if someone in my csb someone in my uh, uh server just raised the jerk how i'm gonna counter that so i've been sort of thinking of that all day well all morning but yeah so i was thinking like you're gonna use this like she you know she attacks enemy support her level 100 skills which you're going to, which you're going, to, you're going to need at least the 70 level 70 exclusive skill for for some of these so like i said this is a almost long term kind of thing but we're gonna get there let me get my head straight and start explaining it again i thought you're gonna use you're going to need elegant Unahana because you know one she decreased enemy speed she uh decreased enemy damage she cast shield uh shield on everyone so that means you're going to be the debuff for a region jaka mutilate and burn is going to be cleared you know and also she heals which means even uh if a partner has been burnt already so they're going to get a hp back while also being freed from uh his deep, um his burn skill and uh reach late and then again i thought you could use um where is she uh in sunny oh, yeah i also thought you can use her because she uh restore all ally hp cast shield on own vanguard 200% shield on assault and supporters as well so again kind of like um, elegant on the you know if you have both of them they could just literally be um, what is it they could be give it, uh, clearing the, 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 the shield uh, the debuff or the buff for, from region jaka and then while giving you hp so basically you're going to get you're going to get even more hp even more hp each time and it's going to work like that so i thought so i thought but then i as it is right now i put in hickey because you know she's a douchebag and a very terrible <laughs> individual and i was like if let's for example this person has a uh, hickey you know with um that Okay, let's just say the Hiki is not even doesn't even have a, the exclusive skill. The Hiki only has, you know, the, well normal Hiki skill, and, and then so basically, and then they attack first. If they attack first, they're gonna take away the fury, so your guys are not gonna get chance to attack, and also they they have um they're going to lose fury and they're gonna lose life, so they're not going to attack. It's only a vanguard, you know. But by, by that time, even if they attack, they can't. Because of invisibility, let me just. Sorry about the sound. Sorry about the sound. Let me just. Yep, does not have ignore invisibility, so not gonna walk there. Where is elegant Unahana? Immune to fury deduction, fury restriction, and that. So this is where we're going to get started. Again, she's not immune to. Uh, she cannot. Uh, uh, she cannot get past the invisibility. So only uh, unless if you have your white and um, red too. That's where it's gonna go. But anyway, let me start. Let me start with the formation because I've been. I feel like I've been going all all over the place already, and I haven't even got anywhere yet. The two people you can have for your for your for your support as it's gonna work. You need, of course, um, send you, and you can use. You can you can go one two two, but I don't really think it might go for that. But you can go one two two, and if you're gonna go one two two, this is how it's gonna go. Send you elegant on um, on Hannah, my Yuri, and then the Vanguard. You can either use Kukaku, uh, Demon Ichigo, or guy Ichibe and this is why because Senju also uh, um, doesn't get affected by the fury reduction and elegant Onohana doesn't get affected by the fury reduction as well so which means even if they have 
what is it even if the hickey goes they're still gonna have the 100 percent fury they're gonna, well, they're still gonna have their fury and even they have if the other person has a senju they are not going to um the the fury restriction it's not gonna work and uh so that that is the reason you need them and of course if you have like let's say kukaku the keto defense is gonna be hard oh by the way i don't know if i've really mentioned it this is for like high um mid to high vips because free to play i don't think this is gonna work so much <laughs> so yeah but this is for mid uh, by mid i mean like seven to eight so, yeah vip seven to eight that you regularly top up and then high obviously it's nine to ten so anyway senju and elegant unahana because of as said because of their mods and then if um, and then you're going to need Mayuri. Why do you need Mayuri? Because Mayuri also clears. Um, Mayuri also. What the hell is he? Mayuri also uh, adds shields on everyone and clears and also it clears the uh, buffs or debuffs and also immune from control. So which means he can wipe out. He can remove all of that. And also because of his mod as well, his um, his block mod increased the ally block. By 20%. So basically, if you guys already have block stones on them, they're going to high. They're gonna have a very high block rate, and um, yeah, which is kind of cool. And also his last mod, which uh, what was what is it? Which also gives poison. Yep, the one being attack has 100% to poison the target enemy for two rounds. So basically, anyone that attacks him, so the whole team. When they attack him, they're going to be poisoned. So they're also going to be losing HP while your team get clears from the uh, from elegant Onahana shield and then clears everyone. Pfft. Make everyone feel nice and clean. So that is the that is sort of the rough first idea. The second idea, my main idea that I was actually thinking of, is um, one free one, which is going to use Senju obviously because like I said because of his uh, because of her mod. Then you're going to use Shinigami Kenzai and then you're going to use Mayuri and then Kukaku or whatever the hell uh, Kukaku, um, Demon Ichigo or the fat guy for Vanguard if you if you want if you are someone that use Vanguard but again I've already said send you why send you is like that uh, because you know the she ignores the invisibility, she doesn't get affected by the fury reduction, and uh, she's pretty much OP. Uh, she's, she's still pretty OP, basically. Okay, then, the reason you're going to use, the reason you're going to use um, for the 1 for 1, you need to use Shingami Kensai is because of his combo rate. First of all, let's talk about his mod. He also has immune to fury restriction, which means someone, if the other team has. Um, a Senju is not going to work on him. He also has uh, immune to fury reduction. So if they have a Hiki, it's not going to work on him. This guy has a HP bond and a combo bond, which means if you if you if you uh, do if you do those bonds for him, is it is going to be where is he? 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 There is. Yep, he has a HP bond. He has a damage immunity bond, you know, the combo bond and uh, advanced reverb. But the uh, damage immunity and the uh, HP bond are the most important ones because it means he's going to he's, he's going to receive less damage because of the immunity. Also, he's going to have a high HP because of his HP bond. So this guy, it was literally made to counter. Hiki and Senju literally combined. When he also look at his sixth mod, when he gets killed, he casts invisibility on all ally for two freaking rounds. For two rounds. So which means if by some luck all out of his HP and damage uh, immunity, he gets killed by some reason. Or you just want him to get killed again. It's up to you how you how you run in your team. But that immediately casts invisibility on two allies. So if they attack, if they attack, and then literally he's the only one that die, means your whole team 
just got invisibility so when they attack with whoever the hell else they're gonna attack to it's not gonna it's not gonna affect you anymore like i said this is for people that are literally close by so which means if if uh, if if, the, if one person attacks the other person attacks immediately so after after they just immediately attack you and then he died purposely you can make him die purposely or you can keep him alive however if you want to uh, that's gonna be up to you <clears throat> your whole team already have invisibility again that's why you need Sanju for this one since Sanju is gonna be T1 of course and uh, she's immune to uh, she ignores invisibility so you are gonna devastate their freaking team yep 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 yep, yep. Going, I hope it's I hope it's making sense so far it's going good of course that's again but let's let's put it in the in the sense that Shingami Kensai does not die, which I'm which I'm kind of hoping for. If he does, hoping he doesn't die because of his high HP, his damage immunity, and so on and so forth. As soon as he attacks, his uh, combo rate activates, and then um, you have Mayuri there. Mayuri goes, Mayuri attacks because of the combo. He attacks again, and then. He casts shield on everyone, he has a shield. So if the person already attacks you and then you're already going second, so you're gonna have to be pretty 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 fast or it doesn't or semi fast. Whatever the hell semi fast is. <laughs> but yeah, as when they attack and then you attack, hopefully your supporters are faster than their, than their one in this sense. So when you when you go first and then you attack no, when they go first and then they attack, and then you go. Shinigami Kensai does his skill and then he gives a combo to Mayuri. Mayuri skills and again I'm hoping Mayuri is probably if in this case Mayuri is T1, which should be the case, by the way. So you're gonna need like three to four T1s for this skill properly. Like, like I said, that's why I said me. Eight and high, nine and ten. VIP level because you know, those guys usually have lots of T1 guys and so on and so forth, blah blah blah. But yeah, that is it. So Shinigami Kensai goes, does his combo, Mayuri goes, or you can make it that Shinigami Kensai dies, has invisibility, Mayuri attacks, does his kill. So if, if the other guys, uh, are, since Mayuri is since Mayuri is so freaking slow, it's gonna be hard for you to get him fast. You know, since he's so freaking slow, you may need to kill Shinigami Kensai off for that. So Shinigami Kensai dies and casts invisibility. They attack, they miss because you know invisibility and shit like that. Unless they use it like your watch or something, then you you kind of screwed there. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let, let's hope they, they're they not using your yeah, 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 white. But then again, like, like I keep saying, this is for high, so these guys are crazy anyway, don't you? But not many people still have your white, even at that, even for the high VIPs. Not many people still have your white, he's still one of those guys. But anyway, if the, if, if, um, Shigami Kensa die, cast immunity, uh, cast invisibility on your whole team and then your whole team basically becomes yeah invisible and then they those guys attack they miss Mayuri goes kill clear the debuff on everyone and then obviously that gets rid of um what's his face uh, uh Ryujin's skill which means then you can then basically try to kill each other like I said this is not this you're still going to lose if the guy's team is stronger than you. This is just a simple. This is just a simple um, fight, basically without the without the the aid of region region Jaka. So this is just going to be between your team. Like I said, you're still gonna lose if they're stronger than you. That is fact. But this is at least you lose because you're not that strong. You don't lose because of you just literally got burned to death. They didn't do nothing. And for and for and for this as well, if the if the if the team let's say the other team is also using, which is kind of most likely for high VIPs, is is using Kukaku. If we look at my boy's freaking exclusive skill, which makes him literally a lethal weapon, a very dangerous weapon for vanguards, 
400%, decrease enemy vanguard defense by 50% for one round, increase on damage rate uh, by 10% for one round. So even if they have a very buff Kuk uh, Kukaku, this dude was meant to freaking fuck up a whole team, including Senju and Hiki. That's what I'm saying, like, his time to shine is now. Get this guy's freaking exclusive skill. Look at that. Uh, if you reach level 100, decrease enemy vanguard defense by 100% for two freaking run. 100% for two run. I don't care how stuck your freaking Kukaku is or whatever. This mirror is literally going to fuck you up. <sighs> Seriously. Seriously, now is the time to get Shinigami Kensai and let him go to work. Increase on damage rate by 30% for two run. With his combo. If you already attack the vanguard and then he combos and then you have Mayuri there that freaking clears your that just keeps clearing buff uh, that, that keeps adding the shield and then clearing the buff Brigitte Jaka is literally not going to do anything for you and uh, it's not going to do anything for the other guy because there's not any time where maybe one or two guys might lose life but it's not going to be it's not going to be a uh, a continuous skill that is going to keep making you lose life. Now for the vanguard. So basically that's the support, that's the midline. Shinigami Kensai Mayuri to keep clearing the, the buff and because of his, his, uh, his block he's going to literally make everyone even more buffier, especially Yoko Kaku. So she's going to be alive because she's needed for her skill as well which is BAM! Attack enemy vanguard, so you literally trying to shut down the vanguard and <laughs> just break it. Since usually is the usually the the problem with Ryuji Jaka people is they just start their vanguard to stay alive long enough for the whole team to burn to death. So that is who you want to literally focus on. They're not gonna they're not gonna start their uh, their support or their their assault. They literally start the the vanguard so much that when it clears your team. You know the vanguard is still gonna be alive, so they're gonna win literally by just the vanguard being alive. So that's why your focus, that's why Shinami Kensai, her, and those guys, you know, are really necessary to fuck up the vanguard and literally make him her shady. <laughs> Simply put. So yeah. Anyway, her exclusive skill: attack enemy vanguard growth at 110 percent. Add a shield on all ally which is again comes necessary so i get i don't know how um excuse me i don't know uh let me let me check again yeah for the the preaching level 70 it just for one round oh, oh yeah also he restores as you can see he uh cast shield on own assaulters and support so those guys are gonna get shield and also he, he um adds uh the um hp like I said, if one or two guys lose life, and then because of Shinigami, com uh, Shinigami Kensai combo, your guys are gonna uh, your guys are going to regain HP again. So whatever they lose, they now get clear of the debuff until the time um, Riju Jaka attack again. They're basically going to regain their whole um, HP again. Like I said, this is so that to be immune from raging to nullify or be immune from raging jack uh, debuff this is not about you winning if the team is stronger than you hell you might get killed one shot from like your supporters or their assaulters or their vanguard whatever the hell they're focusing on so this is just about nullifying raging jack uh, making her uh, making his skill pretty useless that if you're going to die you at least you die how do they say on your feet you know, <laughs> you don't die by, well, I don't want to say that, quite terrible. By the way, let me go back to Kukaku. Uh, like I said, her skill as well also, she add, um, she adds shield on everyone. So if for some reason uh, my Yuri shield is, um, what is it, it's about to end. Since obviously, the, uh, well, again, if you're a Vanguard person, whoever is faster, but since my is pretty kind of slow, so he is most likely gonna go before the Vanguard. Or if your Vanguard is kind of like TSI, which is pretty fast, 
Well, anyway, I don't want to go into that. That is literally another explanation. I'm not even ready to go into it. This video is already pretty long as it is and kind of confusing and all over the place. So I literally hope if uh, the guys that are watching to literally concentrate and focus and try and get what I'm saying because it uh, it makes sense. You freaking know it. <laughs> but yeah, sexy Kukaku add shield on everyone. And obviously, again, the shield uh, um, remove all debuff and immune from control. So basically, your guys, so basically the guys also, if Mayuri uh, shield is about to run out and then she's killed, that is going to, that is going to remove, um, if she's killed, that's gonna be, that is just going to keep adding the shield on. So, all, you're almost, almost, you're almost going to keep uh, getting like a continuous shield. You're almost going to keep getting a continuous shield uh, that is going to like, um, you know, stop the, stop his, um, his debuff to work on your guys. Like I said, this is just to make sure his debuff does not work. So anyway, that is it guys. Uh, I don't want to make this video longer than it is. I had literally lots more other guys to show like i said uh um what is it ichibei and demon ichigo and all of those guys but this video is already getting long enough if i'm going to do all of that this is going to be like literally more than one hour and this was even like a quick one just a simple quick rush run down having even gone properly into it i don't know i just wanted to show the guys you can use right now if someone else is going to use like reji jacka and how to shut that down my Yuri kind of comes in useful because of his shields. Again, the guy has high HP. The guy has, um, you know, his mod is freaking, you know, he uh, he has a high HP. His mod is freaking awesome. Increase the all alive block by twenty percent. It's gonna keep you alive a lot longer. His sixth mod at uh, at the end of each round add um, increase defense by five percent. Again, that's gonna keep you there. His third mod, which is increase um, each time you lose 25% HP, you get 25% extra block. So literally, it could be that it's only Mayuri and um, Kukaku that are alive at the end of this ordeal. If your um, if your what is it? If your other guys get wiped out because they're going to be there because of their freaking block, because of their defense, they're gonna keep being there, and they keep they're going to keep giving shield to each other. And they're going to keep literally stay alive because they're freaking, you know. So basically, just my Yuri and Kukaku can literally defeat the whole team, even if the person have Rage Jacket because he's actually his uh, exclusive skill, you know. 70 is one round. Uh, for when he gets to like the 100, it's for three round. So within that three round, you're still gonna be alive. And if the shield is act active, you're going to get HP. You're going to because you just need literally one round if while the Raging Jacker thing is on to remove the debuff and clear it immediately. So you don't need like all of uh, all of the shield for three round. So by that other time, by the time Raging Jacker skill again, you already uh, what's her name? Kokako already um, activate her skill. She already has her shield on. So she's literally gonna be there. So like I said, if you're gonna die, you're just gonna die because your team is not strong enough, or uh, you know whatever. But you're not going to die because of Rijin Jaka. Anyway, that is it, guys. I hope this video just give a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, idea. Like I said, I have uh, literally I've been thinking right now about it. Um, don't get me wrong. Like I said Rijin Jaka is an OP, amazing, awesome freaking of um, Zampaktu. But as you get a team, you, you always think of how to defeat your team. Which I will get him, but uh, not anytime soon. Anyway, I didn't even want to get into that. That's for that's another talk for another for another day. But this is a somewhat simple way to uh, defeat, no, nullify rather, nullify. Raging Jacker, Burn and um, what is it? Burn and um, God damn it, Mutilate. <sighs> God, it's almost like 30 minutes. 
anyway thank you for watching like subscribe comment you know if you also have ways uh, you think you know that you can defeat region jacka with the partners we already have like i said this is for um some sort of a um, very high meat and high vip so these are guys that can most likely go and buy these characters anyway so you know if you comment anything and they they see that it's going to work for them you know they're most likely gonna you know you, you might be helping someone out who doesn't want to get raging jacka because of the fad or whatever so anyway that is it guys thank you for watching like subscribe comment share peace out jane